In the port, I found Crest, the mechanic Katya mentioned before. He told me more about the local fanatics and promised to help us if we take him aboard. He is also heading east. The main problem now is crossing the bridge, as the fanatics that built their shantytown on it are very unlikely to just lower it to let the Aurora through. Still, I have a more pressing problem now. Anna went off the grid. I'm quite sure she's all right, but we can't afford to grow complacent here. The last time she used the radio, she was approaching a small hillock with some antennas. Artyom, I heard you call me. It was so great there. <coughs> but I heard you and couldn't leave you.
Found me. Oh, what is this place? See the barrels? They're chemicals of some kind. This place is either for storage or it's a dump. And that short could have been put there by the locals to mark the spot. Thank you, my love. Oh, okay. All right. So, uh, Artyom, let's pick her up now? No way in hell. I can... I can walk just fine. I'll just rest a bit and get going. <laughs> the old man's probably going seven sorts of crazy now, thinking his precious daughter got hurt or something. <clears throat> Dad, it's me. My radio battery died. I got it wet. Other than that, I'm fine. Artyom and the guys are here. back. Help Stepan persuade my father about letting Katya and Nastya travel with us. Artyom, I am feeling better now. Really, I am.
Glad to see you alive and well, Artyom. And we have a soap opera on our hands here. Stepan seems smitten by a lady and is trying to get the colonel to let her and her daughter join us on board. to go back now, I guess. Where... where would you go? Those fanatics would eat you alive! Well... maybe they... I don't know. I mean, sure, it's not just about the space. We might have to fight our way through the bridge, and even after we do, we don't know what dangers lie ahead. But still! And I told him I could help. I'm a medic. I also told him about the bridge, that it could be lowered. Yes, I even told him about the carriage in the train depot. We came all the way here in it. It's very good. We prepared it for the long trip. Uncle Artyom, please, let us come. I will be good. I will help with everything. I will. Oh, Nastya, quit bugging Uncle Artyom. Oh, don't you worry, Nastya. Uncle Artyom will talk to our commander and sort it all out. Whoa! Uncle Artyom is more important than that scary commander with metal legs. <laughs> oh, darling, you can't say that. Well, Uncle Miller is the chief here, but he does listen to what Artyom thinks. Doesn't he, Uncle Artyom? Uh, I was going to go and get that carriage myself, but no dice. Leaving your post, enemy court-martial, you know the drill. So now, it's up to you and Anna to persuade him. Will you take us away from here, please? Of course we will. Don't you worry. We'll Hi, Artyom. Alright, welcome to the crew. Thank you. Won't let you down. Hey, Artyom. See how it all worked out? Come here, Artyom. Have a seat. Look, we have an opportunity to cross the bridge without an assault. There are trade caravans going up the river, and the bridge dwellers do business with them. So, disguised as such traders, we will infiltrate the bridge and lower it. Katya says it still works. They won't be able to stop us if we move fast. And should they try, we'll cross it no matter what those fanatics think. They want blood, they will get it. So now, we only have to wait for the traitor's blood. Colonel, sir, we can't just leave them here. They will be eaten Sipan, alive. Sipan, did you ever try using your head? Do you know where we are going? What we are going to face on the way there? Where, pray tell, are they going to sleep on the Aurora? Atop the coal crates? We Spartans can handle it. But for a woman, with a six-year-old daughter, no less, this is unacceptable. I'll give them my bedroll and move into the stove. You will fall asleep and get your throat cut the next day you get guard duty after trying to sleep there. Still, I, I know we can't leave them. Let's just collect that carriage Katya told us about while we wait. We can't leave the child here. And anyhow, how long are we going to sleep in turns for? Are you starting that again? How? How are we going to collect that carriage? I'm not taking the Aurora there! No, you don't need it. I have a rail car hidden in the terminal. It can tow a carriage like nobody's business. Artyom and I can go get it and, and bring the carriage back. No way I'm letting you go! It will take us both till morning to finish the repairs, and I can't handle it myself in time! Okay, okay, have it your way. I'm done playing the monster here. We get that carriage. We take the civilians with us. Artyom, will you handle this? Listen, Artyom. If the caravan is sighted, drop everything and rush to the port. It's our best chance of traversing the bridge. Thanks, Dad. Katya and Nastya will be so grateful. Here, Artyom. It's a breaker for the rail car. It won't run without this. She's a real babe, Artyomich. No two ways about it. 
We went to hell and back, here and I. So much stuff you hold, so many tight spots she saved me from. Look, Artyom, since you're going to the terminal, hear me out. It's quite a distance away, and look, if you go at night, there's less of a chance you might run into bandits. They stay at their camps when it's dark. But it's not gonna be easy either, since more beasts come out, and there are also electrical anomalies. The fanatics call them the demons of electricity, so you should think about your options before heading out. Artyom, Duke is on a mission in that area. He's keeping tabs on the bridge. Reception is bad there. We get mostly static from him. Anyway, if you meet him, he'll update you on the latest developments in the terminal. I bet you've conspired with Anna and Stepan. I care for those two no less than you. But we don't know if what's ahead is any better than the fanatics. I guess we'll have to live and see. Great job persuading the old man. Check out my setup here, Artyom. I finally got everything the way I wanted. A proper workbench, with storage space for all my tools, and some to spare. You can clean your weapons and make ammo for them here, just like with any other workbench you might find. My gun rack is only available here on the Aurora, though. I'll keep samples of every gun you find, and you can exchange them whenever you want. Always in the best working condition. Oiled and shiny like new. <laughs> you won't have to install any attachments again, though. I am going to make you all competent gunsmiths eventually. Listen, Artyom. I have something for your Tihar. You can try installing it. Use the workbench. Well, I won't keep you here any longer. Anna. Thank you and Artyom for helping us. I don't know what would have become of us without you. It is a cursed place. And that's Silentius. Don't thank us before it's all ready to go. It all hangs on Artyom now, so wish him luck. Of course, God bless you, Artyom. And you, Stepan, thank you. Artyom, uh, are you going to the terminal? You might meet Duke there. He's got an observation post set up in a carriage near the bridge. Ask him for a sit trap before going in. One more thing. That tower to the right, see it? There's someone over there. I think it's the bandits. They're watching us. Uh, we heard someone playing guitar over there. Those guys can't play for shit. Stepan wanted to take the instrument from them. They were butchering the melodies so badly. So, won't you liberate that guitar? Make an old friend happy. Stepan is a wizard with a six-string. He plays some mean classic rock. Good luck, Artyom. Oh, it's... I don't even mention it. Artyom, Uncle Artyom, are you going on a mission? I just wanted to ask, there, where the big tanks are, if you find my teddy bear, just in case you do, could you bring him home? A demon took him, a flying one. It was scary. They live there. It took Teddy to his children. <sighs> I miss Teddy so much. I wanted to go visit him, but mom won't let me, because there are electric demons too. I'm telling the truth. They come out at night and they light up. So pretty. And scary too, a bit. Artyom, I haven't really thanked you properly for saving me from that stupid cellar yet. You know, I didn't even get scared when I fell. 
Because I knew you'd come and save me no matter what. Thank you, my love. Now, go. Come back soon and stay away from the hotspot. Untie me, please! Uh. Thank you, thank you. Ah, these devils caught me on my way to the house of the fish. I had a penance from my father, Celandius, and so I got about halfway, and then this got me. Oh, I, I see you're one of the heretics. But I tell you anyway, there is a cash here on this island. There is a device, but we can use it. It's a sin, but you could. I'll just have some rest here before I go back. I'll keep praying for you to the starfish for the rest of my life. It might save your soul.
Simon, the bridge is done for. The fanatics have taken over. I was prepared to give them a quarter of the cargo, but they wouldn't even hear me out. Wanted me to leave my diesel first, and fuck that noise. I'm not pushing the platform with a fucking hand guard for 200 clicks. We're back deep in the red zone. So I'm sending Surge to you with this message. Sell the diesel to the brothers. They were offering good cash for it. And get that ferry. Or a self-propelled barge or a tugboat. Do you understand me, Simon? No haggling. As soon as the others hear about the bridge, any piece of shit that floats will be worth its weight in gold. But we could still bounce back if we do it fast. Get to it, Simon. Time is money. Huge. It went straight for us, clanging, shrieking, smoke everywhere. I only had time to say, Lord, save us! And it broke through! We were lucky we got away alive. That's just hellish! Running people over with a train! Well, they are heretics. We tried shooting at them, but it would take a cannon to do any damage. So, Father Celentius forgave us for not doing our duty, but still gave us penance for leaving the port, which is another sin. So, how did you get the penance? Ah, 
that was my dumb mash. She scolded me with a pot full of boiling water, and I just swore at her. Our holy father said hitting her could make our marriage even stronger. But running my mouth was a grave sin. So he sent me fishing. With no gun. Ah, don't you worry, it's a quiet place. Nobody comes here. Not even mutants, really. The fish does feed here from time to time. But we, the faithful, have nothing to fear. The fish? Yeah, I, I, I don't fear, for I hold the true faith. Of course, if your faith isn't strong enough, then it's another can of worms. The fish, you, and the non-believer all, and if the true believer, then it's the next to him doesn't even get twice with what? Will you just look at what the cat dragged in? A, a heretic! Well, I'll be. He doesn't turn his satanic light on us. His gun is holstered. He's a human after all, even though he is a heretic. He has some sense, even. His soul may not be completely lost. You wish. Do they even have a soul, them heretics? Look at his armor! Yeah, that's a work of Satan, all right. I wish our paladin said something like that, though. Of course, blessed by Father Salentius. We'd never have lost the train depot or the tower to those bandits. We'd still have it all, and they'd all be in hell. We'd be cutting them down like dogs. It is temptation. Temptation by technology and its satanic power. You're right. But really, damn.
Well, hello, my blood brother. Didn't see me, huh? The others don't either. I'm basically part of the scenery now. I heard you were headed to the terminal for the rail car. Then let me fill you in. The terminal can only be entered by water. Luckily, there is a dock with a boat nearby. Left there by the fanatics, it seems. Inside, there are just those, uh, um, humanimal mutants, or so it seems. See that gas station? It's a bandit hideout. They ambush the fanatics. These guys seem to be drawn to the terminal like flies to you know what. The bandit caught three of them on my watch. Look at the building over there. Bandits keep captives there for ransom or something. But they sure go to town on the poor guys. I asked the colonel for permission to go in three times, but no dice. I understand why, but we have always protected common folk from lowlifes like these. So I'm having a hard time staying put. Oh well. See those ruins? There's a bandit camp there too. They have a sniper. I saw at least one scope flashing from the roof, so I wouldn't advise an open attack. The bridge is in full lockdown. None of the armed dudes ever show themselves. They definitely expect us to attack, so there is no reason to be concerned about them now. Hey, it's your choice when to move out, but the bandits should be easier to avoid in the dark. In any case, I'm going back to my post. Uh, what the fuck are we all even doing here? Uh, it's not like there is any loot to be had, really. Fucking red, the asshole. A sure thing, he said. Get rich quick, he said. Ugh.
What are we even doing? <laughs> I spilled all the time, and that's just exhausting. <sighs> wow. What the fuck? Hey!
now you say, dummy? Silentius is bullshitting you. Enough, father! It's a sin! Oh, damn! Who goes there? It's one of them! A heretic! You're from that train, aren't you? Well, hello there, friend. Peace be upon thee. Why'd you turn it off? Let it play! This is a sin, father. Even the heretic understands. You seem to be hailing from a really advanced place. Just look at your gear. Huh? Satanic trifles! You see, son? He's a good man. He knows how to behave. No need to be nervous. You just... You know... Don't be angry with the locals. It's just that there have been lots of attacks lately, so they're kind of riled up. Silentius is brainwashing them all the time, too. Sinful words, father! You see this one? He's my son. Here, you do what Silentius says, or else you're in trouble. I heard that Crest joined you. That's good. He's a good man. It would be a shame for him to just die for nothing. And he's tough, too. And thanks for taking Katya and her child in as well. It was such a mess, you know? I'd come with you, too. I can shoot really well. Right after the war, it was like those Western movies around here. But... I've got a son. And because of his mom's stupidity, he's a fish worshipper. And he won't leave this place, no matter what. I can't just leave the dummy here. Do you even know what that movie is, son? Have you heard about those? It's a sin, father. Sin to say such things about our community. Especially to a heretic. Oh, sin, sin. You're like a broken record. Use your head. You see how it goes here? Ah, well, you, you'd better go now. Somebody really might see you with us. And Godspeed to you. What the hell are you doing? You just broke it! Did you know how much I paid Chris for the batteries alone? You First, it's a sin. Second, you just ran and brought a heretic upon us with this hellish contraption. Think fish he was peaceful, and we won't get this lucky next time. And last, someone really might hear. Then neither of us would get away with it. Let's just go home and forget all about seeing the heretic and about this technological possession of yours. As if it never happened. All right, let's go. Just promise me that you won't do things like that anymore. Don't put me in jeopardy. Then my Lemke and I are going to make your grandchild next year. If you promise not to put this technological character into the